you think the school district needs to be more transparent about uh, the progress that's being done here? I do. New tonight, a Portland middle school is opening after months of renovation following a pipe burst during January's ice storm. But not all parents think the school is ready to open. K2's Emily Gersh joins us live from Robert Gray Middle School. So, Emily, the school is reopening to students next week for the first time since January. You got to go inside. How does it look? I did. Uh, the part of the school that was damaged during the storm has a new roof, flooring, and drywall. But some parents I talked to want to know what other work was done before sending their students back. This was an entire renovation of this lower hall. Principal Lisa Newland showing us some months worth of work that went into making Robert Gray Middle School ready to reopen after a pipe burst during January's ice storm, causing widespread water damage and forcing students and staff to temporarily relocate to another school. This is the south end all the way down the, the north end. That pipe had multiple breaks. Um, so bathrooms were impacted, classrooms were impacted, the hallway was impacted. After previously telling parents the school would reopen in February, PPS administrators extended the deadline to August. There was too much work left to do. Knowing that we've got um, a sound infrastructure above and below us, the things that we can't see that are hidden inside the walls, all of that um, I think gives us a sense of, no, of security knowing that um, the district took care of a lot of things. But some parents don't feel assured. Um, it was difficult to tell if they actually vetted contractors. They don't have any information to give that. Uh, to give me about that. Kirsten Carr showed us emails she sent to the district asking what work was done, but she didn't get a response. We don't really have a reference point for, um, you know, what it should have been or could have been or how much it could have cost if different contractors were vetted. Effie Greathouse also has some concerns specifically about asbestos and air quality. There's been regular construction updates, but I don't feel that the concerns about um, the asbestos have been adequately addressed. I haven't seen um, sampling. I've requested more information from the district about what exactly was done. As soon as we get some answers, we'll be sure to share them with you. We're live in Southwest Portland. Emily Gersh, K2 News. Emily, thank you. And K2 is your back to school headquarters. You can find all the back to school content on our website, katu.com slash back to school.